I don't. Are we live? Okay, I think we're live now. Who? I don't know. Facebook says we're live. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. So today we're doing a Mother's Day card, but then I was looking at this, I'm thinking it doesn't even have to be for Mother's Day. Although it says mom, it does have to be for your mother. Um, but like for her birthday or something or a thank you or anything like that, this could be. Uh, I was going to write Happy Mother's Day on the inside at the bottom, and I'm like, I think it takes away from what's there. So what I did is left a little space, and you can write Happy Mother's Day or Happy Birthday or whatever you want. So there's two cards. They're in one file. And first, I want to say hello to everybody. And we are live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. I can see your chat on all of them. So, hey, everybody. So there's two cards in one file, and everybody who supports my channel gets all my design space projects. This one, too, included. They're in the same project. And if you only want to do one, then they're grouped together. So you can click on that group, and in the layers panel, you click the eye and hide it if you only want to cut one. But I did this one first, and I'm like, what if I move that mom over to the edge? So this is the first one I did. This one. My hair is so pink, you can't, there. <laughs> um, this is the front, and then you open it up, and it says, always my mother, forever my friend, and has some flowers on the inside. Isn't that cute? I like it. So. All of these images are in Access. The font for Mom is Folk Art uh, Festival, I think. And I use this a lot for a lot of my projects. So if you don't have Access, and you might want to buy this font. This font has three layers. It's an amazing font, and I use it welding in a lot of my projects because it has that offset, and it has just a solid piece, and then it has the intricate. So that is a font I suggest. If you're gonna buy a font, you buy the folk art. You don't, if you don't like the decoration, you just take that layer off. It's a solid layer underneath, but it still has the offset. Um, so I did this card ahead of time. Can you see the glitter? I used Cricut Gel Glitter Pen in Violet for this. And it's all done with Cricut paper, and I emboss this piece underneath. Isn't it pretty? Like, this is so pretty. Okay, so now let me show you the base of the other one. So this one I'm going to put together today. This says Mom on the folded area. I thought after I did the other one, I'm going to try it this way and see. So we, we will have the same color that you see here will be here. Does this work? It's gonna look kind of like that. But then on the inside, it has that. And I had this right, the intricate font there. So it still fills it in so you can still see that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I think it's bright and cheerful and you could use it for anything for your mother. Doesn't have to be Mother's Day. Could be Happy Easter, you know, just for your mom. Thank you. Happy birthday. Just, I love you or I miss you or anything you want. It's just a cheerful card. Or get well. If cheerful cards, here's how I feel. I don't like to send get well cards. I don't like, um... 
I don't like to receive get well cards. I like to receive happy cards. So I don't want to think about my sickness when I'm sick. And I don't want to bring that up and talk about it. You're only supposed to talk about what you love. You don't talk about the bad stuff in life because it just draws more of it. So if somebody's sick, I give them a cheerful card. Um, you know, something like this. Okay. So let's get started. If we have any questions, please put them in all caps. Um, yes, it's the glitter gel pen. It's uh, by Cricut. There's a link in the description below. And we'll put a link in the comments too. Thank you, Vanessa. That's a great idea, Sheila. She said she would change the inside always a mother to send to a friend who lost her mother. You guys have the best ideas. Oh, I also have a question. I have no clue what to name this card. Callie, my assistant, was setting up the video and she's like, what do you want to name it? I'm like, I have no idea. I, let's just name it a Mother's Day card until one of you guys tell me what, what's the name of this card? I just thought it up in my head, so I don't know of another card like it. There could be other cards like it, because, you know, a lot of people think the same. But um, what do we call this card? It has the, the name on the fold. Do we know that? There's the projects to my files. Nightbot shares my links. Mom card. Yeah, I have lots of mom cards, though. I have other cards with the mom kind of welded into it, too. So I don't know. Let's go putting this together. Okay. All right. Is the inside so pretty? Okay. So this goes on the outside. And, of course, you guys do not... My colors are a little more muted than the colors you see here. They're a little more pastel-y colors, but of course you can change the colors. You can make the colors anything you want. Um, you don't even have to use this piece. You can just put the flowers on here. I embossed this piece with my Empress embossing machine. You can use a cuddle bug. I use a cuddle bug folder. And I'm going to go around the edge of this one just to add a little extra to it. It just makes it look more finished. And of course you can do all different things. I was thinking you could pop this up. What I did on this card is I popped up the mom. Can you see in there? I used this foam tape. I'll get this foam. I think I got this from Maymay Made It. I'm not sure. Um, but I used that foam tape so when it's closed, it's on the same level as the front of the card. Now, um, this card is different. You don't see the front when it's open, so I'm not going to use the foam on the word mom. I did use the foam on these flowers to pop up the flowers, just to pop up the top layer of flowers. I don't know if you can see that. And I just kind of guessed on where to put these. I looked at the picture of the file, and then I kind of guessed. Yeah, I was thinking I'm going to have to do a dad card, too. Oh, 
Oh, I could do one for sis. That would be cute. So I'm just, I'm using art glitter glue. And I keep forgetting to put the pin in. If you type in the word glue, Nightbot will give you a link to the glue. If you're on YouTube. Nightbot only works on YouTube. So I'm gluing that down. And I've already started. I glued this letter M down. There's the other M. Let's go ahead and do that. And then the rest is just kind of gluing down together. So on this, I just put a few little drops of glue. Oh, and I have another tip when we're gluing down these letters. And I'm gonna be honest, this tip came from my assistant, Callie. She thought that and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> that is such a great idea. Good thought, Callie. I'll show you that idea in a minute. Let me glue these down. And when you're cutting out this O, make sure your mat is really sticky because we had to cut this O three times because it cuts around the outside and then it cuts these little letters just on this one, on the O's. And it wasn't cutting the middle one because it was moving it. And I think I put that on wrong. There might have been an up and down for this and I didn't realize it. Okay, so when we're gluing these letters on this card, we're gonna open this up. That was Callie's idea. Otherwise, you don't, because I'm kind of messy and I get glue everywhere and you don't wanna put this down and have glue seep out onto the other side of the card and glue it together. Now, everybody say thank you, Callie. <laughs> That's a great idea. So we're going to open this up. This might be the most important part of this video. We're going to open this up. And then we're just going to glue these down. The M's are the same. So we're just going to glue those there. I'm just, I'm not going to pop these up. Although you can. So I'm just putting glue like that. You could put these through your uh, Xyron machine, like a little Xyron X. I guess I could do that, show you how that works. I think these fit. So this is a Xyron machine. You stick it in, you pull this out. Make sure that's in there. Uh-oh. And I'm out of sticker stuff. So that didn't work. <laughs> Usually, you get this, and it's all adhesive on the back. But you have to have it full. They sell replacements. I have a ton of them. But we're just going to do it this way for now. Now, when you're putting these letters on, there is an offset. So you're not covering up all of the purple around there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see some purple around that yellow? I love this font. It is my favorite font. The, there's two fonts on the inside of the card. If you don't have access and you don't want to buy the fonts and you don't want to buy these flowers, uh, because if you don't own them or have access, Cricut, makes you buy things before you can cut them. Um, you can remove all that stuff. You can detach the writing. And the hearts. On this one, I went around the hearts with a, some ink. Thank you, Barbara. 
And I'm not going to do it with this one. I think I like it better without it. And I think these hearts are the same. So we're just going to glue these on. Could pop these up. So I just found this out. I've never put this card together. I only test cut to make sure that these worked, you know, that the fold was correct and it closed good. So just now finding this out, make sure you put this green piece down first, the square, because I'm putting this heart on top of it. And the corners of these letters are also on top of this square. So you want to put that down. And I could have moved it over maybe a little more, move it over to the right. And it wouldn't do that. There. Now the rest of the card we can have it closed. So there's the card. Isn't that fun? I mean, like, we're going to put, you can put butterflies. You can put anything you want. All these flowers are not individually 99 cents if you don't have access. They all came together in one piece, in one image. So what I'm going to do is kind of just go with it. I'm going to put this, I think this way. Just going to start gluing this down. And then I kind of, oh, I want to show you how I... On this one, I didn't ink the whole edge of it. I just kind of went back and forth on the top of the petal, just adding a little color. Of course, you can do what you want. You could watercolor the flowers. Oh, wait, I did that on both of them. So they kind of matched a little. They're two different colors of purple. And I'm going to Thank you, Dora. Dora now has access to hundreds of my design space files. Not just this one. She gets hundreds. I'm making these really small. So if you've never used foam tape, I just push it down and then you peel off the little um, paper. Then it, it ha you can see like a shadow in the middle. Oh, and just to let you know, this flower was made for these to be even and I turned it so I can see the different color flower underneath there I like it better that way all right I'm gonna put the pin back in my glue now all right let's go ahead and put the rest of these flowers together they have the rest of them just have circles that go in the center and you just the big circles go in the bigger flowers. That's all I got to say. So I'm using my glue to pick up the circle. Holding it between my fingers here. And then sticking it on. And then turning it over and then pushing it into place. So we're going to start with the big ones. Go. 
Wait, see how easy that is? All right. Two of these flowers go on the inside of the card, although they don't have to. You make your own card. You can do it any way you want to. But I think this card would be really pretty with butterflies, too, I have to say. It would be pretty with a butterfly right in here. I didn't do that, but that'd be so pretty. I just thought of it. Okay, I've never used the glue to pick up paper either. It just hit me when I was putting this one together. I'm like, I'm just going to use the glue tip. And then I just have to move it into place. Two more. Did you guys know Access Now has 70,000 images? Okay. I'm going to kind of look at this one. If you need to look at one to know where to put things, uh, you can look at my Cricut Design Space file. And of course, you don't have to do it the way I do it. You can do it any way you want. I always try to stress that. You can totally make the card exactly like mine. Same colors. Same everything, but you don't have to. And I'm not gluing these all down like this one. See, that's made to put one of those flowers there. I'm just gluing down the flower. And that way it will have the leaves up. Well, gotta glue that down. And I'm going to stick this one. I'm going to lift up this leaf and stick this in here. But glue right underneath the flower only. Because I like a little dimension. And then some of these I put in um, after I already had the flowers on. Put one here. Thank you, Vicky, for subscribing on Patreon. I'm going to put this one here because I know I'm going to need it there. And then we'll leave this last one. Just to, there she is. I got a notification on my watch. <laughs> okay, I'll stick that one there. Okay, let's choose the ones that we're gonna put on the inside first. I'm gonna choose these two. Or is that, yeah. And I have to move this so it doesn't cover up part of my letters. You guys see my letters? There. So I used two different fonts on there. Both, they're both Cricut fonts. I don't remember what they are. Oh, the one that is like always mother and friend is Blossom. And I'll have to look up the other one. It's like I've never used it before. I kind of love that front, front font. Look at the way that word forever is written. Isn't that pretty? Like, I love that R goes a little lower. Can you guys see that? That's a Cricut font. It's, I don't know if it's a new one. I don't ever remember seeing it in the past. So the inside's done. Oh, we got this one over here. I'm gonna stick this down.
and I'll stick this one down. I'm just kind of looking at these and I'm gonna put this one down here. Not in the exact same spot. I'm doing this much faster than I thought I was going to be doing it. That was going to take me forever. All right, let's do that there. Um. There. Oh, we got this piece. Of course, you can always have leftover pieces. You don't have to. I'm going to stick it right there. So you can lift up the flowers because, if you're like me, you'll include the center down. There. That was really fast and easy. Yeah, you could use crystals, and I was thinking of using some glitter gel and dropping that in or adding a few drops in places. I think it's pretty. I love the glitter gel pens, guys. Look at that glitter. And the machine just writes it for you. And uh, with my projects, all you have to do is load your mats and click go. You don't have to size anything. Oh, thank you, Joanne. She says, Melody, I believe this is one of the best cards you've designed. Yeah, I was kind of proud of myself because I thought of this all by myself. Some of, well, a lot of the cards I make are inspired by other cards. This one was just, oh, I'm going to try that. See if it works. And I only had to do one test cut. This one worked. And this one. They worked first cut. I thought, wow. So these would be great cards. Now, if you have a mother and mother-in-law, you could um, give them each one. And they will be similar but different. You can make them different colors. To even be more different if you wanted to you could do it without putting this paper down or you could do more flowers less flowers different flowers butterflies and then this one you always see the pretty of this now you could duplicate this i have this when you ungroup it all these pieces are grouped together you could duplicate that and also add it to the inside of this card i thought about doing that but then I thought, oh, I could just write it. So it writes on there. But you can duplicate this and add it to here. Or just do the mom and not the hearts. Did I like that? I just thought that was neat. Uh, you can't change this word. If you need the word mom, let me know. Uh, or other words you might use that other people will use. Like, I'm not going to do personal names unless it's a very popular name and everybody wants that name. But I can uh, recreate it with mom because I know the ones in the UK or maybe Canada too call them mom. Um, and I thought I'm going to have to make one for dad too. But somebody said, sis, this is a good idea too. Connie needs a sister one, yeah. 
We could do that. Maybe nanny. I haven't tried, you know, other words, but I think they would work. Maybe we'll just have to try it. Okay. Do we have any questions? I need to do my hair. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you to the people who support my channel. You're awesome. Aren't they pretty? If you wanted the card bigger, you could select all and just drag it to be bigger. But it is sized to be an A2 size card, so it will fit in an A2 size envelope. And I do have files for envelopes on my site too. I have a six by six square envelope, and then I have the A2 and I have five by seven. So you can always go to those envelopes. I don't put the envelopes in with each file. Uh-oh, my flower fell off. It wasn't dry yet. All right, guys, thank you so much. Um, and Thursday, I'm planning on doing some Easter baskets that are in Cricut Access. They're already in Cricut Access. I'm not changing them at all. I'm going to show you how to put them together and I will share a file with everybody, not just to the people who support my channel because they're just Cricut images. I'm not changing them. So because of that, I will share that file with everybody and I have them sized to the size that I'm going to be putting them together. So uh, Thursday, I'm going to do that because a lot of people are new to paper crafting. They don't know how to put these things together. And there's some really cute ones. Patricia is asking, what is Patreon? Patreon is a way for people to support creators. So it's for musicians or artists or people who create videos. So we can continue to do this. It's also for comic writers and podcasters and whoever wants to do it. Um, so we can continue to do this stuff because I don't get paid for these videos. So Patreon is a way to support me to keep doing tutorials and videos for you without having to work a nine to five job. Although this job is from 7.30 until 11.30 every day, PM, like it's all day. I try to take a little time off, but um, it's more than a full-time job. So it's a way that um, we can keep doing this full-time. And also you can sign up for YouTube or Facebook fan support also have come out since then. But the Patreon, to get the files, all my Cricut Design Space files, it's only $2 to get them all. All right, guys, love you. See you Thursday and then Saturday. And Saturday is the second... Saturday of the month, that means we're having a secret Patreon hangout. So my Patreon supporters uh, who pay $5 or more come in video. So it's not just me talking to them. It's they're coming in and I'm laughing at most of them because they're funny, not because they look funny. Because they are funny. It's this coming Saturday. No, it's the second. Oh, She's right. It is the first Saturday. I don't know why I was thinking. I got my Saturdays mixed up. This one's the first Saturday, so it'll be the next one. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.